Randy Gilson, the Randy of Randy Land. Hi. Hello. We are here at Randy Land. It's great to be here. You can't come here and not feel happy. Well, thank you. This thank is you very wonderful. Much. So, I uh, love what you've done with the place. <laughs> uh, how long did this all take you? Well, I'll tell you what. When I moved over here, um, Randy land this place here I bought this building in 95 for $10,000 on a credit card wow. yeah and it was really bad the roof was caving in and well it was a kind of a seedy area up here and so they were going to tear the building down and I was given a phone call and they said oh would you like to look at this building or buy this building I said ah I don't know if I would want to but I went to the third floor and I felt that I was in an airplane. All the buildings were lower, and I saw the whole city of Pittsburgh, the beautiful, wonderful, perfect city of Pittsburgh. And I said, if I can get this building, I would be like in cloud nine. Nice. Now, in 1995, did you have any idea that it would grow to no. appear to look what it is today? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. But I did make one promise. A long time ago in 1995, um, I first of all put $500 down for the auction and I looked at the building and I thought, hmm, now if I get this building, if I get this building, um, I do believe in God. And I said, if I get this building, I will give the building back and I will make it the best, coolest, grooviest place that I could possibly make it. So I kind of like made a, a promise to, to the upstairs that I wanted to do something that was tremendously, outrageously fun, creative, and unique. So how would you describe it? Is it a museum? Is it a uh, gathering place? Oh, what is Randy Land? Um, well, it kind of started out with a dream. Don't we all have dreams? Oh, yes. And if we don't plant a dream, um, a dream is like a little seed. If you plant her, she will root. If she roots, she absorbs. If she absorbs, she becomes. And as she becomes, then she re-gifts. And that's the story of Randy Land. I need that embroidered in like a little frame. That would be, that's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. So Randy Land is a story of, I don't know if it's a museum, although everybody's calling it a museum. Um, I don't know if it's an art gallery, but well, look around. It's all very colorful and happy and joyous yeah. art. So it's kind of like, I call, are you ready for this? Scattered stuff. Nice. I, like I call it. Randy Lamb just scattered stuff. Old wood, old paint, old paint, bricks, wood, things I find from all over the neighborhood. People were discarding stuff so many years over here in the north side. It was an old community and I kept on finding things and well, I puzzled people so why not be a Puzzler. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a welcoming feel. You've got an open sign out. Folks are just strolling in from off the street, taking a look around. So it's yeah. a very welcoming place. Yeah. Actually, we get about 150. 150 would be a modest number. We actually probably get about two to 300 people a day. Wow. It's insanely crazy here. Um, I, when I first opened my gates, a lot of people would stay on the outside of the fence. And... The gates would be open, and it wasn't as colorful, of course. The years went by, and it became more and more and more. But I decided that I better put a welcome sign outside. So I put a sign open, and then I went ahead, and I... A lot of people from around the world were coming to the museum down the street, the famous mattress factory. Yes, yes. And when they all went to the mattress factory, they would peek their heads inside the gates, wondering, what is going on in this place right right and then I thought aha I'm gonna invite people if they're from different places of the world to write their language welcome in different languages ah. so that way the open sign and their languages saying welcome will then help others feel comfortable sure. about entering now when you're out and you see an object, what is it about that object that says, yes, this belongs at Randy Land, or oh, no, that's, that can stay where it is? That's a very good question. Um, hmm, well, what it is is I have found this out. Okay, a lot of people, you see those videos or stories, hoarders. Uh -huh. Well, I don't want to say that I'm a hoarder, but yeah, I kind of am. <laughs> I'm sorry. The most colorful, <laughs> unproductive hoarder that I have ever met. <laughs> it's weird. I find things and I say, 
Should I or should I? Should I or should I? Yes, no, yes, no. Oh, just take it, figure it out later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I grab it, right? Yeah. I just grab it. And then if it doesn't have a smile on it, mm, what would make this piece show its best side? Mm. So then I just throw some paint on it or spray paint it or something. And before you know it, I decide later on if I want to keep it or release it. It's intuition. You yeah. find things. Well, do you find that now, because of your reputation, people are sending you weird stuff, like to people, donating them? People drop stuff off all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's kind of cool. I'll be walking around my yard, and all of a sudden I'll say like, where did you come from? And it was something that was just left there. So, it's really, really neat. You know what's kind of neat? I find that people leave me notes. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of notes. People are so happy when they come to Randy Land. Randy Land is considered the most happiest house in America. That's what they say. So anyway, when people come by and they leave me happy notes, I was not in a good mood. I, I came here. Um, I'm much better now. Um, I, I play classical music a lot. So um, the colors, the classical music, the birds chirping, the breeze blowing through my hair. I want you to know this was better than medication. Wow. Pretty neat. How does that make you feel? Well, you know what? It actually is the purpose of Randy Lamb. You know, love is free. Love is, there's no price on love. And, you know, when somebody comes in and you see that this is like a, maybe a, the eyes or the body language, and you, they come in, and sometimes they come in really bubbly, but a lot of times it's not always like that. And then you see them looking around, and them thinking, and them absorbing it all. And then when they leave, you see the aura is shiny, their smile appears, they actually want to hug me. You know how many hugs I get? Lots. I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about putting a sign at the entranceway of Randy Land, free hugs at Randy Land. Because everybody wants to hug me. It's cool. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I feel that. It's, I, it, it, I am compelled. To I, am give kinda, you a hug. Yeah. I am kind of cute, don't you think? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Is it true you can see Randy Land from space? How does my hair look? Beauty. Does it look okay? It looks like the sun kissed it. <laughs> How many gallons of paint do you think are in Randy Land right now on the walls on everything? What would the estimate be? Oh my be? goodness gracious. A million? <laughs> yeah. Did I talk too fast? I do talk fast. And she was laughing. Well, that's okay. I listen slowly, so we're good. <laughs> Because you're smart, you're famous, everybody knows you. Well, remember when I called you up for the interview, I'm like, how am I going to know which house is yours? <laughs> you know what I want to do? Mm. I think I want to paint you. <laughs>